underway as Ray Natilli tosses it in the air, and the Frogs control it here to open. We expect to see a ton of man-to-man -man out of Louisiana Monroe. That is Keith Richard's way, the head coach of the Warhawks and a Louisiana Monroe grad. Robbins on the move, nice look. Rod Zianski to finish. Get. First look inside right to Rod Zianski, exactly what the Frogs are going to want to look for all night. Munnings grabbed the rebound. He, that will not be his last rebound of the night. Marvin Jean Pierre with a floater. Off the mark, and the Frogs look to push. Robinson from the free throw line. Alavakis with a rebound. He and Mullings both there. You always wonder what kind of nerves you have coming off of a NIT championship season where the Frogs actually received their championship rings this evening. Yeah, right before the game. Adrenaline pumping here tonight for TCU. Michael Ertl, jumper from the corner. The Indiana native couldn't knock it down to the Frogs push again. Robinson corner here, Des Bain. He's also from the Hoosier State. Desmond, there's Kenrich Williams. Off the mark. J.D. Miller, offensive putback. And a good, on the board. Great position by J.D. Miller inside to get the offensive board after a good drive by Desmond to kick it out for an open shot. Frogs with the early lead here on Louisiana Monroe. Michael Ertl is a true freshman starting here for the Warhawks. He wears number two out of Mount Vernon High School in Indiana. Alabacus down low. All 6'11 of him. Nice work, but he shuffled his feet. Around Brodzianski turns it over to the front. For the Kareem Abdul Jabbar Award for the best center in the country this year. JD Miller out top it comes down. Desmond. Desmond with a size advantage there on Ertl. Here's Kenrich baseline. Nice look. Oh, Brodzianski couldn't handle it. Good look by Kenrich. Just a, not quite ready for it for Vlad. Mullings brings it up himself. Jordan Harris, who we mentioned earlier now, Gene Pierre. This is Ertl. Frogs in the man to man. Ertl was an all-stater in Indiana, averaged 20 points a game. Terrific three-point shooter. Munnings from out top. Knocks in the three-pointer. This is that's a part of the game that he really worked on in the offseason. Really shows his versatility. He was second on the team in three-pointers made last year, so he's got the range. Miller now Robinson. One-point lead here for Louisiana Monroe. That's Robinson trying to create. And another rebound for Munnings. Ertl catch. There's Harris for three. A pair of them for Louisiana Monroe. And the Warhawks go up by four here on the front. It's good push for them. Get the ball the way to the corner. Kick it back out to the trailer. Easy three shot for Louisiana Monroe. Out top, Kenrich Williams. Here's Brodzianski bumped by Ertl and a foul here on the front. Seems to shoot that shot. Frogs trailing here early on. Season opener. Show my arena. Three games in five days to start for the Frogs. Almost like a baseball schedule here. As a player, you love that, though, because then, you, you know, you can just get right back in on the floor and don't have to go through those hard practices <laughs> you've been going through the last three weeks. Here's Miller baseline. One of the shot clock missed it. Tipped up by Kenrich. Tried to keep it alive, and now Ertl pushes. Munnings with it. Alabacus. Nice give and go there. And the ball comes out of the hand, though. Of Marvin Jean Pierre. Frogs the other end. Kenrich with a finish. Good lead pass there. Kenrich getting out in front of the pack for easy two. TCU within two now. That might sell the Frogs down a little bit. Get an easy basket in transition. Ertl now Munnings. Jordan Harris looks inside Alabacus. Back into the air on Bronzianski for the jump hook. Miss. Desmond Bain with a rebound. Not a lot of whistles early, so this is really testing the guys, see who's uh, conditioned and who's not to start the season. First year here, coming back home. Free throw line, Desmond Bain now for TCU. And the Frogs over the one. Desmond hit some really big clutch free throws for the, uh, for the Frogs last year in the NIT tournament down the stretch at Iowa, and then in the uh, Kansas game as well in the Big 12 tournament, we knocked off number one Kansas. Was a 77% free throw shooter on the year. Goes one of two there. Now the Frogs a little pressure after the free throw attempt. Harris in the backcourt, stolen away. Bain to the rim, had it bounced out of his hands. And now Robinson, a little strong. Got it right back. Alex with numbers. Kenrich with a jumper. Frogs just unlucky here early on. 
Now Harris will settle things down here for the Warhawks. Yeah, Frog's got two steals there out of kind of, it was kind of supposed to be token pressure just to slow the ball up the floor. Ended up getting two good steals out of it. Alabancus, now Anderson, look down low. Back out front, it comes Harris. Substitution after that timeout. Sam McDaniel is into the lineup for the first time here for the Warhawks. Here's Harris, baseline. Actually, that's penetration by Calvin Anderson, who's in. And he threw it away here. Horn Frogs will have possession of it. Gibson sits as well as Quatnoy comes in for the first time as a frog. Redshirt freshman out of Newcastle, Australia with high expectations. Very high expectations. He led the Frogs in their five games that they played down in Australia uh, this summer. It was good to be home for Quat. Here's a jump hook in the lane. You talked about it earlier. Kind of his go-to move there for Vladimir. Little, little baby right hook. Really high release point. Really tough to defend. If he catches it that low, he's going to get a good shot on the rim. Out front with the words, Harris. First touch offensively there for McDaniel. Now Earl. Jalen Fisher worked really hard in the offseason to improve his defense. Battled a, battled a knee injury. Got a 7-foot, 1-inch wingspan. Does Ahmad. He uh, is 6'10". He matched up on Anabakis. Ball knocked away by Kenrich Williams, but McDaniel will control now. And there's a Dixon can only smile at that one. Just a little bit. He extended his arm a little bit on the drive. Jumper baseline left here from Brandon Newman off the mark. Junior out of Hawthorne, California. Well, you can see the athleticism of Quat Noy going up for that rebound. Yes. Skied for that one. Fisher pushes. Des Bain, pocket picked. Harris back the other way. Kenrich with the board. Now the Frogs run. Bain in the corner. It's unfortunate Louisiana Monroe misses that layup there for them. Frogs get a transition three in the other way. It's a pretty big swing. As Bain puts the Frogs up now by four. Ten to six. McDaniel out front to answer. Can't do it. And Williams with the rebound. Again, Bain. Same spot. Different result this time. And Anderson grabbed it. These two teams have been playing at a pretty good pace here to start. See if they start to slow down a bit as the half wears on. The only two baskets that Louisiana Monroe has has been from the three-point line. They just haven't been able to get anything to go in now. Kenrich Williams checks out. Frog's a little smaller. Here's a jumper from baseline right off the mark for Anderson. Long rebound right in front of us that goes out of hands. TC will have possession of it. When you've got Fisher and Robinson on the floor together, Colin, what does that mean defensively for opponents? I mean, you've got two guys that can handle the ball so well. Well, both of them can shoot from three also, so you got to be able to uh, get back in transition and, and just find them in the run because either one of them can bring the ball up the floor and lead the break for the Frogs. Desmond Payne with it. Marvin Jean-Pierre back into the lineup here. For Louisiana Monroe, Roderick Taylor checks in for the first time. Baseline goes Fisher. Here's Noy out front. Off the mark. The rebound ripped out of there now as Hamdi could with the group that he has this year. Three walk-ons as well in this, on this roster, the active roster essentially for TCU. Down low they work it. And below the rim, Roderick Taylor out of Harker Heights, Texas. A little homecoming for him. Scores the bucket. Back to a two-point game. Fisher skips corner. Noy again, this time for three. Knuckleball off the mark. Back the other way comes Gene Pierre. Quat Noy's had two good looks at it here offensively. Penetration this time, flip it up and left it short to Donovan Walker. And Robinson allowed to push. Noy again, let's see if the third time's a charm. It is. Smiling the whole time. I love the mentality. Even though you missed two in a row, if you get lined up for another one right in rhythm, you got to take it. Munnings back out there on the floor. Newman. Now Walker for three to answer and does. Little late close out there by Alex. Donovan Walker, one of the new additions here to Louisiana Monroe. He's a transfer out of Iowa Western. Desmond Bain, corner no again. That one goes. He's not shy. He's going to let him fly. His fourth attempt. He's made half. 
And the Horn Frogs lead it by five. Out front with it, Taylor, now Walker. Corner left, Munnings had it taken away. Noah goes to the floor looking for it. Um, really tough situations to win ball games against good teams, and they came out on top, and all the, all the starters are back for that. Yeah. I mean, it helps to have those numbers, but it, it is that. It is the experience and the confidence and the leadership they bring. Here's Munnings down low. Reverse layup doesn't go for him. Can't get it off before the shot clock. Shooter, the terrific freshman out of Indianapolis. Can't quite end, get in before the buzzer. Here's Robinson. Kenrich. Screen Bronzianski for Alex Robinson. Offensive foul. From the beginning, that left arm gained the advantage, and they're going to call that every time. Absolutely. Michael Ertl slides over to the point guard spot here for losing Adam Monroe. Here's Walker back to Ertl. He's a shooter. Munnings down low. Over knowing, scored it. Travis Munnings. Sunrise Christian Academy. Before arriving at Louisiana Monroe. Preseason third team all Sun Belt. Yep. He does it all for him. Here's Fisher. Jalen with it. Brozianti tried the extra pass. Here's Noy from the corner again. That one off the mark. JD's put on about 15 pounds of muscle in the offseason. A lot of the Frogs look like they've hit the weight room pretty good this summer. They have. Here's Kenrich Williams. Double team. Now Vlad. Ball slapped away. It'll stay with TCU. Really shedding a defender into a jump stop to get, and they just didn't connect on the pass, though. Robinson. Free throw line. Kenrich Williams. <laughs> That's just good offense. Getting to your guy in the middle of the zone. You're going to be able to square up and get an easy shot from 10 feet. Munnings misses. Frogs will push again. Kimmerich has a little knack for that against zone defenses. Finding that open spot. Here's Fisher pushing. Ball knocked away. And now Louisiana Monroe will run. Jean Pierre to the rim. He'll have to check out. Marvin Jean Pierre at the free throw line, 68% free throw shooter last year, senior out of Pompano Beach, Florida. And it's a two point ball game now. Under nine minutes to go here in this first half. La Monroe showing a little 1 3 1 defense here, trying to switch things up. And Frog's a little slow recognizing it. And you've got an advantage, you're almost 5 on 4 at that point. Here's uh, Desmond Bain, deep three. And he got it. Second of the game for Des Bain. It's not as hard as he thinks, even though he's deeper, but he caught it right in rhythm. Yep. Good pass from Fisher right in the, in the uh, shooting pocket. Ertl. McDaniel. When you talked about Desmond Bain before the game, just in our conversation, you feel like he's set for a breakout year. I really think so. He's already got seven points tonight, two rebounds, and three assists. He's doing everything tonight. Here's Kimmer to the move. Keeps it in the hole. He didn't get the continuation. It's still a good idea. It's almost like a free down in football. Defense offsides, go ahead and throw it deep, right? That's right. Here's Fisher Bronzianski with a pump. Fisher this time fires it. Kinrich. So good on the offensive class with a putback there. Louisiana Monroe is just out, man. When the TC Frogs get two steps going to the basket to rise up, they're a foot over all the Louisiana Monroe players to grab that rebound. Seven point lead right now. McDaniel fired the air ball earlier. That's the crowd reaction you hear. Jean Pierre knocked in a three. Kenrich Williams baseline. Rods losing Anna Monroe for a long time. This is a team that went to the tournament seven times under Mike Vine. You didn't want to play him. <laughs> I guarantee you that was a reason why we didn't schedule when we were, when, we were, when I was on the team. Richard trying to bring this group back after back-to-back 20 win seasons a couple of years ago. Frogs with possession of it. 23-19. Here is Bronzianski down low with the left hand. Hard to defend that. Such a soft touch. Kenrich Williams actually passed up an easy 10-footer in the middle of the paint, almost to try to get Vlad going a little bit there. You know, Kenrich at times can be a little too unselfish, can't he? 
Yeah, I like his shot there at eight feet, 10 feet. He missed the last one baseline, which is probably why he didn't shoot that one, but he already hit that shot tonight too, so you gotta pull the trigger. Gene Pierre, now on top it comes Jordan Harris. Here's McDaniel. I tell you, one of the differences between last year's team and this year's team, though, is I like that they are attacking the zone instead of just settling, settling for three pointers. Right. Worked it inside the last couple of times. See if Louisiana Monroe stays with it. Miller. Here's Bronsianski. Desmond Payne crashing hard. Free throw line goes the youngster, Michael Erdl. This is the front end out of the one on one. Frogs remain up by six here. Fisher, high post catch now for Kenrich Williams. Good ball movement. Find the open man with the extra pass. Fisher can't knock it in. But guess who's here to bail him out? Kenrich. Out of the floor, Bain. Lost it out of hand. Okay. Brandon Newman back into the lineup now. Losing Adam Monroe. That's Harris with it. Now McDaniel, now Newman. In for TCU for the first time is Sean Oldham, highly thought of junior college student, to still award him an all-freshman team member. And ended up getting a medical red shirt uh, and having to go to uh, New Mexico Junior College. Yep. Well, Frogs are certainly lucky to have him. Player of the year coming out of the state of Oklahoma, his senior year, he played at that great program at Tulsa Union High School. Second free throw miss there from McDaniel. 25-20. Penetration here by Miller. Nice look down low for Bronzianski. Well, Colin. Yes, he, he can score with both, which makes it really tough to defend. Newman out front. Jean Pierre. Baseline left jumper here from 18 goes from McDaniel. He fired the air ball earlier, and these fans have not let him forget it, but confident there with that jumper. Kenrich backing it in. Williams, Noy, Olden's first touch offensively. Here's Fisher. Noy again. Frogs again, pretty good movement. Nice look there for Bronzianski to finish. It's good patience by Fisher. I thought he was going to miss him for a second, but that delay actually let him get even more open than he was. Jean Pierre, now McDaniel. Working near four and a half to go in the half. Newman. Harris, Jean Pierre. Broad with another rebound. Frogs look to push. Noy was slower as something Jamie Dixon preaches, but that time a little too far out for Quat Noy. McDaniel down low. Here's Taylor for the 12 footer. Roderick Taylor out of Harker Heights, Texas, as we mentioned. Actually broke a backboard in high school. Here's Fisher. Kenrich at the free throw line. No way to follow. Um, boys this year to really make a move towards the NCAA tournament. First time in 20 years, potentially. I, yeah, I love the fact, too, is that noise at the free throw line for TCU. I love the fact, too, that that is what Jamie Dixon has talked about all offseason. Hey, the NIT was great. You know, winning the NIT championship was great. But there are bigger fish to fry for this program. That is not the end-all, be-all as one makes one of two. Absolutely. It starts with the culture of every time you lace them up, you want to come out and win and, or at the very least compete to win every single night. And I think the Frogs are understanding that. Some of the older teams in the past may have not. For TCU out of Keller. Anderson with it. Emhard was a highly rated guard. We'll spend more time on him as Harris fires a three-pointer here. A little chatter there to Bain as well. It's losing Adam and Rose climb within three of the frogs. Yeah, they got Nimhard bringing the ball from the floor as point guard right now. He had to play some of that in Australia uh, when the frogs were there without Jalen Fisher. Both yeah. Nimhard and Olden played some of the point. Well, they had to take Alex Robinson out as a trap. Let's have a look at it. Again, we talk about the feet with big men and the importance of that. Out front with an Anderson. Under three minutes to go. Newman. Harris. 
another three. All of a sudden, he's brought him back on his own attack. Back out here. Frogs with possession now. Under three minutes to go. And La Monroe back into that 1-3-1. Here's Bain. Now Fisher. Fisher had it slapped away, and Kendrick's there to bail him out again. You really got to look at throwing a pump fake and putting the ball on the floor. Nice look to Vlad. Baseline for the finish. You can beat this zone with a pass or dribble penetration really easily if you get somebody off the floor. Well, it helps, too, when you've got a Kenrich Williams. You know, it's 6'10", who's such a terrific passer as well in the high post, right? Yep, and he can knock down that shot there, so you have to respect it and come out to him. Baseline jumper short, and Kenrich with another board. Williams, Brodzianski can't handle. That's a second mishandle by Brodzianski in the half. Newman may have traveled, can't finish. Putback is blocked by Brodzianski. Just continue to add to his career number. Kenrich, Fisher, second three of the game. Short again. And a rebound here for Roderick Taylor. That's good offense, though. Out of the break. Newman can't finish. Fisher alley -oop. No, he scored. Look for the Frogs to really pick up the defensive intensity here in the last minute and a half of the first half. Coach can't be happy with only a four-point lead, so want to try to extend it a little bit here. Frogs extend the defense. Gene Pierre now Ertl. Now a minute 15 to play in the hands. Harris for three again. That was deep. Well, we talked about the fact that last year in the opener against St. Mary, Harris had 23 points to lead him. Harris got 12 in the half. Now still for Louisiana Monroe. A chance to take the lead, and they do. May have got away with a little bit of a walk right there, and the Frogs may have gotten away with the violation right there as well. He threw the ball into Kawat inbounds as he stepped out of bounds. Could have gave him the ball right back to Louisiana Monroe. Warhawks with a one-point lead now on TCU, 35-34. And I think you're seeing a little bit of that tonight already, especially on the defensive end, pressing a little bit too much, maybe getting yourself out of position, trying to make a play that you normally wouldn't make. Williams at the free throw line. Keith Richard still has his timeout. I think he's going to take it here. Let's see. Kenrich makes the first free throw attempt. Tell you what, the student body here turned out in mass for this one. The TCU are now all the way down the floor because they need to slow down the, the uh, offense for Louisiana Monroe. Ertl with it. Harris and Ertl, little two-man game. Frogs try to trap the freshman. Get him bottled up. He gets rid of it to Jean Pierre. 17 on the shot clock now. Ertl going to reset it here in the half court. Frogs drop back into his own Alabacus. Now Jean Pierre, seven on that shot clock. It's a one-point TCU lead. 14 seconds to play in the half. Jean Pierre for three. Four sat one. Long rebound. It's Harris. He's made fired another three. That one doesn't go. It's an air ball, and it'll come back to TCU. And Keith Richard said, Why did you shoot that? We could have run the clock there. That was a uh, case where a guy who's hot, he's already made four threes tonight. Didn't really look at the clock, but thought he had a wide open look. But he had Kendrick Williams closing him out pretty good. Fisher picks it up down to four. Fisher looking for a screen down to two. Jalen Fisher with one on the clock. Flipped it up. Scored it. Frogs with a three-point lead into the locker room. With that. It was the perimeter scoring for the Warhawks that has kept them in it here. Yeah. Down by only three, Colin. Yeah, Jordan Harris really lit him up. There were four threes in the first half. Frogs going to have to make sure we find him on the floor. Got to believe that Jamie Dixon talked about taking care of the basketball as well in this Help. locker room. As the Frogs open up the second half with that original five that were out there, Bronzianski with a jump hook. That's a great place to start and get the offense going again. We start, we've talked about it multiple times tonight already, but Vlad, when he gets down that low, that shot is very difficult to defend, and he shoots it at a high percentage. If you want to look for a uh, positive out of that first half, one of the things that you talked about at halftime with me was the fact that the Frogs had 12 assists on the 15 made buckets. You like that? I love that. And then you just add 13 assists for the 16th bucket right there. Frogs being unselfish, that translates usually to easier open shots. Ertl left-hand side now to Travis Munnings. Jean Pierre now Ertl with a deep three. That one off the mark for the lefty. Fellow Hoosier with a rebound, Desmond Payne.
Back to Brodzianski they go. Robinson picked up two early fouls, had to sit for a lot of that first half to Alex Robinson. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Bang. Bumped. Kenrich. So good around the rim. Nice layoff by Desmond Bain on a tough drive, too. Jean Pierre had it blocked. But the follow falls for Alabacus. Yeah, the Frogs have to get back in transition defense there, though. They cannot give up a layup at the other end. Monroe back in a 2-3 zone here. Frogs had some success finding Kenrich at the high post. They got JD at the high post for this possession. And Alabacus, he works. Had it slapped away, still fighting. Bucket or, or get fouled if the guys are out of position. Miller at the line. J.D. Miller out of Sigaville. Knocks in the second. Matches the largest lead of the game for TCU at seven. Nice job there. Break that pressure, and Monning's wide open for the three. They had a, kind of a, just a token 1-3-1 one, one pressure, but he split the defenders up top and ended up with a wide open three on the wing from the split. Kenrich, Desmond Bay, around Ertl. Flow to go. It's just good patience by Desmond waiting for a opening to come open there and then rise up and score. Jean-Pierre penetrates this time. Harris, who was red hot in that first half. Nice handles. Mullings was knocked down, and now the Frogs come up with a loose ball. Find the open man. And it out for Kenrich. But how about it ripped away by J.D. Miller? Good strength by J.D. to get his hand in there and just rip it right out of uh, Alabama's hands. Frogs up by eight, their largest lead of the game now. Two and a half minutes into this second half. Ertl out front. Travis Mullings. Is money there? JD was out guarding him there. He needs to just get another step on him. He'll have help if they get speed on the drive. Can't let a guy just set, walk right into a shot like that. Mullings starting to heat up now. He's got 11. It's Miller in the corner right. And Mullings only had five at halftime. Yep. Does Bain falling down. Bad decision there to try to tap it away and Jean Pierre for the breakaway. Yeah, that was bad luck on Dez. Out of the timeout, the Frogs were able to create on the offensive end, and J.D. Miller was fouled. Back to the line he goes to knock in the first one. Now you see Desmond Bain. Yeah, it looks like they got him eating some electrolytes and trying yep. to get rid of that cramp a little bit. That was second free throws off the mark. Jean Pierre with the rebound. Four-point lead. Frogs led by as many as eight here in the second half. Again, Frogs continue with that three-quarter court pressure. Now Harris. Out of 15 on the shot clock. Mullings off balance. And a dunk follow on the offensive glass by Jean Pierre. Got to find a body, put a body on somebody. Two point game again. Quad Noy set to get in. Robinson tried to force this one baseline, tapped away, and finally JD Miller controls it. Here's Fisher with it. 13 on the shot clock. Rodzianski tried to make the extra pass to Miller. Back the other way, now come the Warhawks. Jean-Pierre knocked away. Miller on the breakaway for the dunk. Frogs needed that easy one transition there. A little sloppy on the offensive end. A couple of passes are trying to squeeze into really tiny holes. Doesn't always fare well for the offensive team when you try to do that. Ertl. Jean Pierre. Deep three. This time, Travis Mullings unable to connect. 
Kenridge Williams. Here's Fisher again. This time, Fisher able to knock down the three-pointer. That was a good find by Kenridge, getting into the lane, jump stop, find the shooter open right in the corner. So much easier as a shooter if you catch the ball right in your shooting pocket and you can go right up into your shooting motion. Um, last I saw before our game started, West Virginia was getting beat by Texas A&M. I don't know if that was a final or not yet. Yeah, that was in Germany. Here with 14 and a half to go, the Horn Frogs with possession. Fisher was knocked down one, three, make it two. He called it. I heard it. Thanks that one in. And the Horn Frogs now their largest lead of the game at 10. McDaniel with the penetration. Score it. Kenrich is now up to a double-double yep. with uh, 11 rebounds and 10 points. Free throw is good there for McDaniel to complete the, uh, complete the three-point play. Push here for the Frogs. Alex Robinson, baseline. A rebound and a push here for Harris. Nice flip. Alabacus can't finish. Followed it. Kenrich Williams has over 20 career double-doubles. Adds to it here tonight. The free throw from Munnings, no good. He was averaging a double-double for the majority of the season last year. It was only at the end of the year where he ended up just shy of finishing the year with a double-double average. Kenrich Williams. whose stock continues to rise with a rebound there. Finished with an 11-point, nearly 10 rebound average at 9.6. Here's Kenrich. Out front now to Quad Noy. Rodzianski baseline. Turns in. Robinson to the rim. That's Alex he's, really needed a good yes. and easy one to get going there. Yeah. And he's really good at that. You know, the hesitation kind of slows it down. They just assume he's going to dish it. Able to finish it there. Yeah, and he, he turned down a wide open three there. I'm glad he went and got the easy bucket to get going because he was 0 for 4 leading up to that. Newman fouled by Broad's vertical there. The offensive player initiated the contact. Third on Brodzianski is Newman at the free throw line. I'll tell you, it's nice to have a 6'10 guy with a 7'1 wingspan as your sub coming in for him, though. Ahmed Hamdi comes into the lineup. Transfer from Virginia Commonwealth. A guy with a seven foot one inch wingspan who also squats about 545 and has a 230 pound bench. That's up, man. That's pretty big. Yeah. Robinson. Noy. Corner left now. Fisher. Fisher left hand side. Here's Robinson. Now Fisher penetrates. Alex thought about it. Got a five of the shot clock. It worked one-on-one. -on -one. Double team. Forces it. Oh, he had a good look at it. Left it short. But back the other way come the Warhawks. Frogs by seven. He got put in a really tough spot with the shot clock running down and getting all the way to the paint. McDaniel, who started so sluggish, but again, has knocked down another jumper here. It's a four-point ball game. Brandon Parrish for TCU. Fun moment here to start now. You put that one officially away, and that's what Jamie Dix has been trying to do all offseason, saying, hey, there's more to be accomplished here than an NIT championship. Absolutely. You had to give him a nice moment for the guys to receive it in front of the fans here on the first game of the year. A lot more to be done this year, though. Kenrich Williams, baseline. Penetrates. And, and one for Kenrich. They count the bucket. 61-55. It's a six-point lead. Kenrich, free throw good. There you see the points of the paint. Frogs dominating inside is Keith Richard in his eighth year at Louisiana Monroe. Urging his guys home down by seven right now. Coming off a tough year last year. Right hand side trying to get back in that 20 win column which he had back to back years two years ago. Miss there for Mullings and a rebound here. And a push for the Frogs. Try to force it. Omdi. Baseline. Strong move. Drew Conley says. Joel Klatt, Gus Johnson will have the call on Big Fox for that one. Down low they get it. Get it. Right now, eyes on Ahmad Hamdi at the free throw line. Knocked in the first one here. 
It's a pretty good looking stroke for a big guy like that. Yes. Went to Trent International High School. Spent a year at Lee College before going to Virginia Commonwealth. He's out of Alexandria, Virginia's, or Alexandria, Egypt, I should say. One of two Egyptians in college basketball this year. All right, further with it now. There's Newman. Frog's trying to crank up the defensive pressure a bit. McDaniel has it. Leave it off in the corner here for McDaniel. That one doesn't go. McDaniel with it. Free throw line. Penetration blocked here on the attempt by Donovan Walker. And back the other way. Quatnoy will keep to the rim with the left hand. Score. He's so athletic. If he can really finish like that with the left hand. In Australia. Originally from Sudan. Quatnoy. He's into double figures with 11 points in his debut for the Frogs. Yeah. Never has a bad day. Smiles all day long. Loves it here in Fort Worth. Here's Newman. Monings. Off it comes now. Here's McDaniel for three. Stroked it in rhythm, didn't he? He did. He stands it. Again, we talk about catching the pass in the shooting pocket. It's easy to get a good release and a good shot on the goal. Ten and a half under that to go here in this game. Kenrich, baseline right. Gets it down low. Hamde misses. Noy with a read. Like a steal. Yeah. Noy at the line. What? Ball comes off his hand a little different. It does. A little side spin on the shot. Yep, but he goes in. You know, else you used to shoot it like that and had some success was gentlemen we mentioned early on now on the staff here for Jamie Dixon. Corey Santee's ball would do that a little bit too. Leading he, did, score. he made quite a few of those too. Yeah, leading score for several years here at TCU. Rebound off the miss. Alabacus couldn't handle it. Daniel gets it now. Frog defense much better here in the second half. Here's Walker. Another rebound for Kenrich Williams. Bain bumped. Kenrich for three. Just missed. Newman pushes. Another steal here by the Frogs. This one, Desmond Bain. He'll keep. Foul on the way. Remarkable fashion. And Walker got his money's worth. Bain in the free throw line. You don't see that a lot of guys contesting at the rim like you used to in the olden days. Yep. Guys nowadays with so many replays and HD cameras don't want to end up on posters. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times you get flagrant fouls called. If you're yes. swatting for the ball, like right there, he didn't hit the ball. He hit his arm. And if Desmond falls funny, they could call a flagrant yeah. on him. So it's not really worth it sometimes to uh, contest if you're not far behind. But it worked out for Louisiana Monroe on this one. Yeah, officials will react to that. That's for sure. Free throw line right now. Desmond Bain. Got that one. Ten point lead. Frog showing 1 3 1 here now for the first time. Ertle, the oh, freshman. But then they, they just showed it. Then they moved right into a 2 3 zone. Just a little disguise there. Challenging Louisiana Monroe to shoot it from the perimeter here. Harris McDaniel will fire it. Got it to go again. It's playing with fire, shoot, making them shoot threes. They are now up to 11 threes made. Excuse me, 12 threes made with only 11 misses. That's the third make by McDaniel. Kenrich Williams in the lane. Hamdi strong. Dish off to Hamdi, who went up really strong. Almost got the ball to go. Hamdi's free throw is good. Nice right. touch from the big guy. Yeah, Roderick Taylor committed the foul, by the way. Jamie Dixon looks on. Made them both. And Hamdi. Hamdi four for four from the free throw line now. Love it when a big man can do that, you know. Absolutely. Come in off the bench. Gives you a couple of fouls. Also takes a couple of fouls and converts. Ertl out front. Pretty good defense here by Robinson. McDaniel with the hot hand. Gives it up this time. The Frogs force that one. And now Robinson with it. Skips it. Kenrich from the corner. Short. Frogs a 
Bring out Fisher and Robinson together now. They logged an awful lot of minutes last year on the court together. They I think did. they'll be just fine together out here. They can really play each other's positions. Dixon's group, their season opener here at the Schollmeyer Arena. Ertl for three. Rebound Humber. Fisher, Robinson. And a foul. Horn Frogs with 7.49 to go. Lead by nine, make it 10. J.D. Miller at the line. Frogs really balanced with scoring right now. That's our the Frogs' fifth player in double figures now. I think we're going to see that a lot this year out of TCU. I don't think that J.D. Miller makes a second. I mean, you know, a guy like Vladimir Bronsianski could lead him in scoring every night. Kenrich Williams could if he wanted to, but he shares the ball too much. That's right. I think you're going to see balance like this for much of the season. I think Coach will really like that, yes. too. It shows that unselfishness and guys are really pulling for the team, not just out trying to get their own. Jordan Harris worked it inside to McDaniel. Working on Kenrich Williams. McDaniel, nice job there. Daniel McDaniel's Olson. having a nice second half. He's knocked down a couple of threes here, too, in the second half. Senior out of Australia. Played at Southeast Iowa Junior College before arriving. In Monroe, Louisiana. J.D. Miller. Out front with the network, Sean Olden, who's in the lineup for the second time tonight. Kenrich left side, now to Alex Robinson. Olden in the corner of the lefty. Left alone, fires a jumper. Oh, just missed. Kenrich tried to keep it alive, and McDaniel with a board. Ertle out front. 6.50 left, Frogs by nine. TCU back to the man-to-man. -man. Here's a jumper from McDaniel, who's had the hot hand. Got 17 to lead all the Warhawks. Miss there, Robinson scoops through. That's really what he does best, kind of hesitation move on the on the wing, on the delayed break, and try to get to the basket before all the bigs can get set up down there. Opposite end, Harris can't finish. Frogs back the other way with numbers. Robinson, extra pass, tried to save that one as J.D. got a little cute. Threw it behind his back. Robinson had to try to bail him out. <laughs> Double figure scoring. You won't really have a guy go for 30 in a game. You can't. You don't have that one guy to depend on to score 30 points tonight. It could be a different guy every single night. Yeah, we talked about Jamie Dixon wants to go 10 deep. He's played 10 guys here tonight. Out front with it now. Jordan Harris penetrates around Bronsianski without the mismatch. He used his quickness for the deuce. Harris out of San Antonio played at Sam Houston High School. Help, Olden, help, baseline. Help, Kenrich. Just missed. He's had a couple of those go in and come out. I think uh, Cummins had a, his hand just on the ball enough to bother him enough to make him miss that shot. Missed by Jean Pierre. Taylor thought about the jumper and elected not to. Five and a half to go. Free throw line from the left elbow. The jumper goes this time for Jordan Harris. Really don't want him to get going again. He had four threes in the first half, and now he's made a couple of buckets in a row here. 16 for Harris. McDaniel's got 17. Speaking of balance, they got four players in double digits themselves. Here's a jumper from Fisher off the mark. Coach not going to be happy about that shot. An 18-foot shot. It's a tough shot. One of the worst shots in basketball where guys are all being unselfish and everybody's scoring. Five minutes left. Fisher sits. Watnoy with it out front. Jump the ball. Jump the ball. Bain, Robinson, Noy again. Quat spins baseline through the double team. Taken out of there by Louisiana Monroe, but thrown away by Roderick Taylor. Trying to make too much happen there. Jean Pierre was open on the break, but Roderick Taylor led him a bit too much. Yeah, I think he thought he was going to have to lead him on the sprint on the run out, and he could have just thrown a direct pass solid to him. He would have gone in probably for a dunk. See if the Frogs can capitalize now on the Warhawk turnover. Robinson does it. Had his pocket picked by Harris. And then Harris missed the lay-in. Quatnoy with the board. Kenrich, four-court. Desmond for the lay-in. That was a big turn of events for the Frogs there. Missed layup on one end. Run outlet the other way for a layup on the uh, other end. 
Nine point ball game now. So we work toward four minutes left in the opener. Baseline block, they're gonna count this one. Travis Munnings will get credit for the bucket there. Vladimir Bronzianski got a hand on it, but Jamie Dixon disappointed in Desmond Bain for not stopping the ball. See, it looks like they may have been blocked. If it was blocked first and then Vlad got it the second time, I don't know if that is still goaltending if, if Desmond got it first. And I couldn't tell right there but if Bain got a piece of it. He may have. Turnover here, Desmond Bain trying to work it out a little to Kendrick. It ends up being a double block. Louisiana Monroe's made 12 tonight. It's really kind of kept him in the ball game. Frog showing some pressure early, trying to slow down the offense a little bit. Seven point lead. Robinson picks up Harris. They work it to the baseline. McDaniel on Bronzianski, who blocked it. Taken out of there by Kenrich Williams. Nice defense by Vladimir. You can see that was a priority for Louisiana Monroe to get it down low. McDaniel had been hot. Quad Noy out of pain. Back it goes to Noy. Noy penetrates, threw it away. Saved here, though, to Payne. Back to Bronzianski baseline. Kenrich with the offensive rebound and the put back. No. That's like the third or fourth shot that just rimmed out. Hard to believe those don't go down sometimes. Yeah. Kenrich has been unlucky here tonight. He's got 13 points, 14 boards, and six assists. <laughs> I think coach always coaches always like when a guy's got more rebounds than he does points. Yep, McDaniel for the jumper. Got to know where he's at. He's at right now because this guy single-handedly keeping him in. He's got 19. Kenrich Williams baseline leaves it for Bronzianski with the left hand. It's a great drive by Kenrich. Draw the defense. A little dump off to Vlad, who's really good around the basket. There, even right hand, left hand doesn't matter. Keep an eye on Sam McDaniel. He's got 16 second half points here, but it's going to be this time Munnings for three. And then a foul on. Warhawks have five different players with a made three pointer tonight. First free throw is no good from Vlant. Really keeping them in the game. Yes. Keith Richard's team. JD Miller in for Quatnoy. That's likely an experience I think substitution right. yes. for coach. Down to 225 to go. You're back to the original five. Quat's been playing well, especially offensively tonight, but JD's just going to be a little bit better defensively for yep. you down the stretch. 220 left, seven point game. Harris with it. Jean Pierre. And a foul. Much is going to leave his feet. There's really no need to leave your feet. There's nothing you're going to do. You're not going to block that shot. You might as well just try to stay on the ground and get a hand in his face, try to con contest it that way. McDaniel with that free throw. Now 20 points on the night, three or four from the free throw line. Two possession game here now. Yep. Makes that one as well. 78 73. Five point ball game, work near two minutes to go. Probably be deliberate, run their offense, try to get a good look at the basket. Kenrich Williams, corner right now to Alex Robinson. Robinson feeds it off, Bronson hits. Pull it off. That's pretty deliberate. Push here from Harris for the floater. Offensive putback is no good. We got an offensive foul here over the back. Miller at the free throw line now. Shot that one a little bit quick, missed. One of the things that Frogs really excelled at was making free throws down the stretch, certainly during the NIT and in the Big 12 tournament last year. It's a trend that Coach will want to continue this year. JD makes a second. Quad Noy's going to come in for it. Coach 81 feeling, 73. Coach feeling a little more comfortable with an eight point lead with Quatnoy yes. there now. It's good experience for Quatnoy here. Tight game, minute and a half to go. You like you, you got to think that he's going to be on the floor for these situations down the stretch in a lot of these games this year. Jean Pierre elevates. And there he is. Pays there you off. Go. Yeah, Offensive rebound. rebound. Yeah. Oh, he brings it up. Now to Desmond Bain. Help. 
115 to go. No to the rim, and he's fouled. Klein decided to go up for the shot. Knew he was going to get bumped, so get it up on the rim. Shot clock was coming down. And nice play. Free throw, no good. Keith Richard going to put his son in. Alamakis checks out as Lance Richard, a senior from there in Monroe at Sterlington High School, checks in. Speaking as a former walk-on at TCU, that is green light city if you <laughs> yes. touch the ball. Got to shoot it, right? Got to shoot it. Don't come in and start passing the ball off if you're Richard. Well, he's a three-point shooter. He's out on the floor for that here. Under a minute to go, Richard gives it up here, Harris. Mullings misses that one, and Desmond Payne with a rebound. Eight-point ball game, 50 seconds to go. Doesn't look like is going to foul. Frogs can take a lot of time off here and pretty much seal this game. Desmond Bain with it out front. Out of Robinson. Out of seven on the shot clock. Robinson with one left. Perfectly executed there. Can't do that any better. Get all the way down to one second, get a layup out of it. Puts it in 10. McDaniel for three. Missed it. Quatnoy tapped it. Robinson grabs it. 10 seconds ago, and that should do it. A lot of positives for the Frogs in this game. A lot of stuff to work on. They'll get back to work tomorrow in practice and come back on Monday against Tennessee Tech. As uh, Coach Jamie Nixon calls them, teaching moments here tonight. We'll get into that. Sure. I thought the second half defensively for TCU was much better than the first. Uh, something Jamie Dixon talked about at halftime. Yeah, you just got to find the guys that are hot for the other team, though. When uh, uh, Harris went started going off and um, 